Today I will uh, run test a small CNN uh, with uh, LibTOR C++ and GPU enabled and I begin with um, with this um, uh, example I found here and I uh, change uh, this code for adding a batch norm I want to test batch norm layers and see the differences in in this small convolution neural network. Uh, so I begin with uh, uh, making a directory. I call it uh, hello tree. And then I will uh, will uh, clone this repository. And um, if to install uh, the ability to run libtor, I have a guide in here. You can choose this guide. And um, I have a video also, but it's a, a bit messy here in part two. So uh, the video is uh, quite long, but you can go through this to install the process and I have also OpenCV there for further investigation. Anyway, now we have uh, our uh, things here, hopefully. We ha have our CMake and our main and uh, I start visual code. So uh, I modify my code with batch norm layer here to batch norm and see if it change and below here I also I have to remove all this below here I l make lot of printouts and I will remove this because it's so many printouts uh, during training and so on so I change this. Now I will only have uh, printouts for the model and we will see this. So I have uh, done that and also I need to change my directory here and get some uh, some the libtor library here I need that uh, so I copy that and all that stuff is explained in the installation guide I show you before so now we have that on place our libtors and uh, we, I will to, to, to change this path to uh, to three, and also I need lead towards mm, that was not the right path. Uh, I need this path do, do, do. now it seems better we will see if it works uh, we try CMake seems right and then we do make uh, and 
and uh, if we start the program now we will miss uh, the data set the, the data set files so we will need to catch up that also uh, download that mm -hmm. if we start here for example we will see an error occur <coughs> that's because we miss this files so we need to download that mm. first we can do a uh, make directory data and then we need to we could uh, <coughs> download um, an MNIST fashion dataset. So we will do that from this repository. <coughs> then we see. We can do like this git clone. So we have our data dataset. So uh, we probably have our fashion MNS data set and in this fashion this we could take these files and extract it in our uh, data instead. So if we extract here then we could uh, do, do, do. Uh, then we probably could run this uh, do, 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 do. Uh, we do the and uh, hopefully it will uh, yes it we, we see now we have print out our uh, convolution neural network structure here and I have my batch norm uh, batch norm I think this is uh, the the learning rate anyway I have this uh, batch norm layers attach and we see the the accuracy here and then I will compare that with without the batch norm layers. So we end up at 10 uh, ep epochs. And I have some daughters who love when I do my own videos. That's nice <laughs> to hear them laugh about my Swedish English accent or so. Uh, but now we end up with this accuracy on MN MNIST fashion dataset. So I, now I try to modify uh, back to the original, original uh, without this batch normalization layers. And my purpose is to build a ResNet uh, later on. The, and then uh, it contain several things uh, more than this but one thing is batch normalization so I remove that and the connection as well for the batch normal uh, save and uh, make uh, hopefully it work Mm, I have some errors. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what I have missed here. Do, do, do.
I, I found the wrong thing. We can still have this, uh, I think. This should 43. Yes, uh, now it uh, works to compile. So what I was done was I removed this line of code to remove the batch norm layer. So we can go back to this. And uh, before we have our batch normalization layers, but now I guess we should have another situation so we see we have removed our batch norm uh, and it start with an uh, accuracy of 0.77 at the first epochs and before it was a lot higher accuracy so uh, the consequence is uh, the result was that batch norm made some progress in accuracy but of course it take a bit slower to go through anyway uh, um, further I want to do a whole restnet uh, a whole restnet module but that will take a time I guess uh, thank you anyway for watching